Insulation installation. Ins insulation installation. Did you hear record? Yes. Okay. I hope so. Hey guys, today we have 10 tips for your spray foam insulation. We did the spray foam insulation of our schoolie, which is a 30 foot long 2006 school bus, but I think this can apply to any DIY spray foam insulation. Tip number one is to take your time. So the directions said that if you stop spraying for longer than eight seconds, you have to take off the nozzle and put on a new one because it'll cure inside the nozzle and get clogged. We got a bunch of nozzles in the kit that came with it and then we also ordered a bag of them that came with a couple extra. Yeah. And so we have tons of unused nozzles. Yeah, like we only, we probably only used like four different nozzles, four or five different nozzles. For the whole we, bus. For the whole bus. And we had like 15. Um, so there's no point in us rushing the way we were. I didn't want to have to take the time to switch the nozzle and like stop the process, but it's worth it. You know, if you're going to do a bad spray, it's either not going to insulate it as well, or you're going to spend a, lo a ton of extra time later cutting off all of the overspray. Yeah. So it will actually save you time in the long run if you just slow down and do it right. So our second tip is don't pull the trigger all the way. We got like 70% of the bus done and realized that it sprays much nicer and much more even if you just lightly squeeze the trigger. Um, at the beginning, and you can see it in our video, we were like going full <laughs> blast. <laughs> it was like power washing. Um, it didn't even occur to me that you could just not pull the trigger all the way. <laughs> but don't pull the trigger all the way. Yeah. So what happens is you spray it on super hard and it's just like you spray some on and then you come back and, and then it just blows what you already sprayed off of it because you're spraying so hard. Like picture if you put a bunch of shaving cream on a wall and then like um, blew a blow dryer at it. It would just pfft. Yeah. It's basically what happens. So slow down and it'll be much nicer. And the third tip is do it as a team. Have somebody there to be in charge of the tanks so they don't roll over and to keep moving them down the length of the bus as you go. So I was spraying the floor and she was going to Home Depot or something. Um, and at one point I tripped over the tubes and knocked the tanks over and the tubes fell into the fresh spray foam that was on the floor and it was a mess. So have somebody there to help. Fourth tip is wait until you're actually ready to start spraying to agitate the tanks. Um, so you don't want to like agitate the tanks, shake it up, and then sit there and have to hook everything up and now the tanks are just sitting for another half hour. So get everything hooked up, get all the nozzles on and all that jazz. Get you on your suit and your goggles and your mask. Yeah. Then agitate the tanks and spray. So the fifth thing, agitate the tanks as a team. Um, before you hook everything up and start spraying, you're supposed to like shake up the tanks and agitate them. Um, and it told us to roll them on the ground. It worked a lot better when we were facing each other when we'd roll a tank back and forth, um, both of them at the same time. That it was quicker and it was easier um, and it just worked better than me running halfway across the yard with a tank and then pushing it all the way back and it'll just save you some time and effort. Tip number six. Two 600 Ford Peak kits should get an entire bus. Floors, ceiling, walls, everything. And our bus is 30 feet? Um, our bus is 25 feet from the back of the driver's seat to the back door. Yeah. So I think overall it's It's like it's roughly, 30. yeah, it's like roughly 200 square feet of usable space. So we got Tiger Foam and we got two kits of the 600 board feet. And we used every bit of both of them. 
and we did not even get above the windshield or the back wall. If we knew then what we know now, <laughs> um, we would have been able to make it work. Yeah, we would have. We would have been able to hit all the walls, all the little nooks and crannies. Um, but we wasted a lot of spray foam in the beginning because we're just, just learning. Yeah, we were just spraying too much. So tip number seven: once you see the color of the foam start to change, just stop spraying. When the tanks are getting empty. They're getting pretty light. Um, eventually, it'll start to change colors. Like, one tank isn't pulling enough and the mixture just gets off. I was spraying when this happened and he told me to stop and I did not listen to him because I thought I knew better. I did not. Um, so we ended up with some that only like partially cured and it's gooey and we needed to like scrape it off, basically. You'll end up with like tap cured chewing gum slimy chewing gum type stuff and it just stays wet Forever. so so we have to pull it off and then we got some um, we just got some of the spray cans great stuff um, sure is the brand oh. the brand yes. <laughs> great stuff brand spray foam in the little can yeah to just hit those spots really quickly which leads into tip number eight. Get those little cans of spray foam. You can just get them at your hardware store, just the little handheld ones. If you missed a spot, or if you weren't quite thick enough on one spot, I don't know if it has as high of an R value, but it's gotta be better than nothing. Tip number nine is to make sure you spray on a day that has good weather. And that's not just so that the process will be better, but because it has to be between a certain temperature in order to cure correctly. Um, I don't know that all brands across the board are the same, but ours had to be between 75 and 85 degrees. So make sure the tanks are between 75 and 85 degrees and you want them to be that temperature for a while because just because the tanks are that temperature doesn't mean the stuff inside of the tanks is that temperature. So you need the core temperature to be between 75 and 85 degrees and you'll be good. So, I got to get the fun little laser nozzle thermometer thing that I've wanted for a long time. And I finally got to get one. Okay, and tip number 10 is do your research. Know what you're going to do before you do it. Read all the instructions, watch videos like this one, and make sure you know what to do. Um, to fix a problem if one happens. You don't wanna get halfway through and then realize you don't know how to do something or you have to look it up on your phone while you're spraying. It's not good. It's not good. Yeah, there's a ton of information. Again, we bought ours from tigerfoaminsulation.com. Um, and we loved it. And they have a ton of articles on their website. They have a ton of instructions. They tutorials. Have tutorials, videos. So, take advantage of that. Do your homework. Do your homework before you spray. Mm -hmm. No, before you go. Read before you... Succeed. Read so you can succeed. Good. Research so that you won't be in the lurch. What does that even mean? I don't know. It's like an, it's an expression like caught in the lurch, like we're caught like it's not an expression. It totally is. So hopefully now you guys can learn from our mistakes and uh, have a better insulated bus. Thanks for watching guys and remember, make, make it, it an, an adventure. adventure. Hold it. There's a bee! There's a 
a bee! There's a bee that changed the tip. You have to change the knob. Just got hit by debris in the tree. So, especially when I was spraying, I know I... <laughs> that it, um... Nice and even, and you don't know, blow chunks everywhere. <laughs> Either smear it into what you've done, or I don't need to be talking as much about this point. <laughs> she was off eating candy or something. Um. Rue! <laughs> this is not a call out! <laughs> okay! Let's not even put that in there. Yep. I, look, this whole time I've been a little bit stressed that you didn't hit record. <laughs> <laughs> we. But, uh, if we knew what we knew then, what we know now. If we knew then, what we know now. <laughs> I thought of one while you were talking and I forgot it. What was it? What was it? Oh. Oh! Now there's two. <laughs> Guys, you're being rude. You're being inconsiderate. Oh, now there's, <laughs> there's more. so many birds! Bro! <laughs> okay, ready? Make it an adventure. Why are you going so slow? That's why you have a siren. It's literally an emergency. That's a new siren. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stop recording. Wait, stop recording.